Hello everyone, my name is Diana Munoz and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you 10 different keywords so you can find really cool and very trendy templates in Canva. In the previous video, I showed you 10 different keywords to find elements in Canva and in the comments, you guys told me that you were interested in this tutorial to find hidden templates. So if you guys are ready for this video, let's go to my computer. Okay, so now that we are here on my computer, I need to clarify that everyone can follow this tutorial, even if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account. So let's start with the 10 keywords. The first one, it is phone notification. So let's go here and you will have to type this because I have it here on my template. I can just copy paste and we will go here to our homepage in Canva and use this search box. So I'm going to paste here the keyword and enter. So here we have our really cool templates in Canva and I don't know if you have seen them, but these are super trendy in social media, especially Instagram and Facebook. And also I need to show you something important here when you hover on top of these designs, you will have or you will see this little tag here. Uh, some of them have this crown, which is um, a template available for Canva Pro users. But if you don't see this little label here, that means that these templates are free. So I suggest you go and check them out. There are some really cool and nice templates uh, that are going to add something very trendy and special to your Instagram post. So let's go back to my Canva slides and let's discover the second keyword. So the second keyword is curved text. If you have been using Canva for a while or if you have been following us for a while, you know that this is a new feature. So I'm super excited to show you this. Let me just paste this keyword here because we have new templates using this new feature. So you can just scroll down here and discover all these really cute and very trendy designs. So yeah, this is the second keyword and actually very uh, close to this one. There is the third keyword you will see here. It is curve text without the D. So I'm going just to remove this V and hit enter and just a slightly uh, change in the keyword will show you a bunch of different templates you will see here more feminine styles more uh, elegant I will say styles so yeah just a slightly change in the keyword can make a difference in your search results and I think they are also cool and amazing i can't wait to use them <laughs> on my own designs so let's go back and discover the fourth keyword this keyword is super special because i'm going to show you let's just go back to canva and i will show you why this keyword is so special so as you can see here we don't have a, a specific uh, doc type or like a specific dimension we have a bunch of different dimensions and all have the same cohesive branding. So this is really cool if you are using uh, Canva to create your visuals or your graphics for a specific uh, marketing campaign that you need to show to the world. So as you can see here, all of these templates have the same branding. There is something like a social media post or Instagram post, Instagram story, Facebook post. This must be an email header, uh, A4 page or banner. So yeah, we have a bunch of different doc types. And as you can see here, as I'm scrolling down, we will see different styles. So the first one will be like a more elegant one more minimal and here we have more organic shapes and we have different dog types all of them have the same branding here we have a more serious one i would say more corporative you can see here the style is different and then lastly 
we have another bundle of graphics which is more trendy it's a little more um i would say modern or aesthetic so yeah this is really cool and i think that also can give us ideas on what kind of um, doc types we can use on our marketing campaigns this is really cool and let's go to the next keyword okay so i think or i hope that you guys like this keyword because i have seen people already asking about how to create animated logos or how to make my logos move so i think this can help a bunch of you guys and if you hover your mouse on top of these templates you will see the effect of the logo moving let's just uh, go on top of some of them and especially this one i really like because you see uh, as if somebody was drawing the face of this um, lady of, or this logo so there are a bunch of different effects that uh, might be interesting for you or might, or might adapt your uh, logo so yeah i will suggest you go and check them out there are some really cool ideas some really cool elements here and also uh, you see that there are so many different design trends here we see something like more collage or grungy style something more kawaii cute or something more elegant and minimal so yeah there are a bunch of different styles that you can find here so i think they are really cool and yeah i'm sure that you're going to find something that are going to adapt to your style and that is going to be useful okay let's go to the next keyword and the next keyword is podcast i know that many of you have your own podcast or maybe you are designing for a podcaster so yeah you will find a bunch of different ideas down here and i think they are looking very very professional and most importantly they are looking very modern so yeah really amazing i'm so happy that i found these templates here and also it's really cool because when you go here you click on the three dots and then you go here to preview this template you will find all the elements that uh, they used on this design so i think it's also a cool idea to also discover new elements in canva okay the next keyword is YouTube intros. So let me just copy this keyword and paste it here on our search box. And here we have a bunch of different uh, templates that we can use not only for the intro clip of our YouTube videos, but also for the outro. So as you can see here, like for example, this one, or this one right here these four can be used as an intro a cool animation or something moving that can uh, make our videos look cool but if you pay attention to this one we have two boxes here or for example this one it says up next or subscribe for more and then you have an empty space this one we can actually use it at the end of our videos for the last 20 seconds that we have there to suggest our viewers for a couple of more videos that they can be interested in or they can watch after watching your tutorial or your video so yeah this is a really interesting bunch of templates and they are also like very there is a lot of variety in this design so i'm sure you're going to find something that you like and that you love okay let's go to the next one and before going to the next slide um i don't know if you pay attention but i'm using all these cute and i don't know nice cartoons on these slides today and these slides or these keywords i'm going to give you the keyword so you can find this template inside canva at the end of the video so keep watching okay keyword number eight is desktop wallpaper let me copy and paste this one I actually really love this one and personally I already used a couple of them to create my own and personalized desktop wallpapers so you can go down here 
and you can use them exactly as they are like for example this one maybe it doesn't need to change or we don't need to change anything because it already looks really cool or this one right here but of course if you want or if you need it you can uh, go and change the colors or change the um, the quote so yeah it's pretty cool i really like this and they have such a nice designs here oh look at this one it's so cool let me open it so cute we can have a christmas vibe on our computers <laughs> let's go back to my keywords and let's go to the ninth one yes so we have here phone wallpapers as well and here we have we can also have our own personalized wallpapers for our phones so these are also really cute and really nice i suggest you go and check them out okay so let's go to the final keyword and this one is comic let me just copy paste and if you remember i told you that this keyword it was going to be the keyword or the template that I used for the slides of this video. So if you can see here, these are the same cartoons that I used on my slides here. And what I really love about these templates is that you can actually like even create your own cartoons in a way. So as you can see here, we can create our little story, like put some um, text for each of the characters. But also, as you can see here, we have the little bodies of each of these cartoons and we can add like a bunch of different accessories and different faces so we can have different expressions like maybe they are sad or they are happy, surprised and we also have a lot of uh, different elements here that we can add to our cartoons to add more excitement or emotion to our comics so yeah we have a bunch of different styles here as well and if you go here to the three dots we can preview this template and we also have a different bunch of um, elements and if you pay attention all of them have the same style so this is going to help us a lot because our comics they are going to look very harmonious and cohesive and i also wanted to show you guys down here this cartoon let me go to the preview of this template because this one um these are like 3d elements as you can see here these cartoons are like 3d and we have like for example here we have the upper part of the body and we have here like a, the bottom part of the body so you can create your own cartoon you also have the heads right here so yeah it's pretty cool what you can do in canva right now and you also have these text bubbles i think you call them like that um so yeah you can do so many creative things if you ever create a visual or a social media post or you post anything on instagram i would love to see your creations you can just tag me and before finishing this tutorial i would like to ask you something special because i'm not quite sure yet uh, on the next tutorial that i'm going to film and i would like you guys to help me decide so i have two different options in mind i was thinking about creating a tutorial on how to make or create videos with canva with only photos so you have static images and how to create videos with these static images so that's one idea and the second idea is that i can give you 10 font names like hidden fonts that i find really cool and that i found after searching and like watching a bunch of different templates so yeah let me know which tutorial you will prefer which one do you think it's going to be uh, more useful in your case so i can wait to see your comments down below and as always if you want to keep learning about canva i'm going to leave you here some videos that i think you're going to like a lot 
and also I'm going to leave here an affiliate link that you can use if you want to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days which is 15 days more than what you will find on Canva's website. I think that's everything for today, if you like this video leave it a thumbs up and see you in the next tutorial, bye!